So, in the aftermath of CrowdStrike releasing a bad update that bricked millions of systems, files like this have been spreading rampantly over the internet, claiming to be a fix or an update tool. A lot of these documents or website recite the CrowdStrike PR statement that they're working actively with customers and that the issue has been identified and a fix has been deployed. And then they will point you to a tool or an updater that is supposed to resolve this. But this is the best part. They go ahead and say the consequences of any failure to update the system and disruption will be the responsibility of the organization's IT manager. So I guess we better run this update. So when you go ahead and do that, you download the zip file, extract CrowdStrike.exe. And when we run this, it says Windows command processor wants to make changes to our device. We say yes. And after a while, you get this prompt saying, are you sure about the start of the CrowdStrike update? You go ahead and hit yes, and it says the update has been applied. And what we just ran is malware. So funnily enough, even though the original incident was not a cyber attack, this one is. Now, those of you who've watched my original coverage of the incident know there is no fix for the CrowdStrike incident because your system won't boot on. So the only solution is to go into safe mode and delete the faulty sys file in your drivers folder in system 32. But there have been countless fake posts all over the internet, various domains related to CrowdStrike that cyber criminals have bought and are using to spread malware, pretending to be a fix. And uh, here's some examples. CrowdStrikeDoomsday.com, CrashStrike.com, CrowdStrikeDown.site, CrowdStrikeBlueScreen.com, Com. Imagine searching for CrowdStrike blue screen and then you get to a site like this, maybe on your personal system because your work computer is down or on a server or on one of the few systems that's not affected because it's not running CrowdStrike. And then you see related news and a link to a download or a chat or better yet, a service that fixes it. Here we even have things like Google Maps listings saying CrowdStrike blue screen repair as if that's a store <laughs> that, uh, there's a permanent store for. All you have to do is uh, for people to reach out to these email addresses and they can be scammed. CrowdStrike themselves have acknowledged this and they've made a blog post about it. E-crime actors using file names capitalizing on the Falcon sensor issues. Imagine being the basic IT staff at an airport and you suddenly have all these blue screens. You don't know what to do with it. You go online and you come across one of these sites. It is a legitimate threat, especially now when there are millions of people who are not necessarily cybersecurity professionals who have to deal with these issues, thanks to CrowdStrike, of course. And this highlights the modern trend in cybercriminal behavior. It's all about being opportunistic, working on a short timeline, capitalizing on other incidents and people's vulnerability. Now, this particular file that they're talking about, CrowdStrike hotfix.zip, is also something we can analyze on Any.run because it was caught in their sandbox. Any.run, of course, are a sponsor of a lot of our educational content, including this video. They're an online sandbox that allow me to basically basically visit a malware website, run the malware in their sandbox without actually setting up a VM myself. So here you can see we're downloading this file from this .com domain, and it's a zip file, CrowdStrike hotfix.zip. And if we open it, um, you can see garbage files, but then it has a setup.exe. We can see the whole process tree of everything happening on the right. And if we isolate the setup.exe, you can see that this is flagged as malicious. But more importantly, we can actually see what it's doing. So it runs Windows command shell, steals web session cookies, and steals credentials from web browsers. So this is an info stealer. So if you were investigating a fix on a different system and you accidentally ran this, you could have your company accounts hacked and actually have have a breach situation in the organization. Regular viewers of this channel are savvy to such attempts, but you have to understand there are millions of people out there now who are looking for a fix to a CrowdStrike issue. And a lot of them are going to be basic staff doing overtime who are desperately trying to fix a situation they should never have had to deal with. That's why I think it's very important to keep making videos like this. Please like and share it so other people can see it. 
And it's not just about this incident, though. This is how cyber criminals operate today. They use a short window of opportunity and then they're gone. Imagine getting something like this hours after the incident before the official news was out. Imagine getting a PDF like this as you're desperately searching for a fix because all your systems in your entire company are down or you're at an airport and there are customers waiting or you're at a small grocery store. You're trying to get on any computer that works and then you search for blue screen of death fix or something and then you come across a PDF like this. Sure, when you highlight the link, you can see at the bottom left that the download link is not the official CrowdStrike website. But who's going to check that when you have a queue of customers out the door and you're trying to fix an issue with your computer? So I think it's important to take responsibility as cybersecurity professionals and those who do understand these attacks to not pass the blame to the user. So I hope you found this video helpful. This is Leo. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.